Hey Chiefs Kingdom, it's game week, and we've got a huge update on your Kansas City Chiefs. Stick around because this is packed with news you won't want to miss. And don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest. The good news first, Chiefs fans, Patrick Mahomes is a go. After that ankle scare last week, our MVP is practicing fully and ready to lead the charge on Monday Night Football against the Buccaneers. A sigh of relief for everyone in Kansas City. But here's the catch. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Juju Smith-Schuster is out with a hamstring injury. That means Mahomes will need to rely even more heavily on DeAndre Hopkins, Travis Kelce, and the rest of the receiving core. Can someone step up and fill that void? This is Hopkins' chance to shine. The injury bug hasn't spared the defense either. Linebacker Mike Dana and cornerback Nazi Johnson are also out, along with defensive line backups B.J. Thompson and Charles Omenihu. That's a significant blow to depth. But hey, we've seen this Chiefs defense overcome adversity before. Steve Spagnuolo will have them ready. And Tampa Bay isn't exactly healthy themselves. Mike Evans is out and Jalen McMillan and Sterling Shepard are questionable. Baker Mayfield will be missing some key targets too. This could be a huge advantage for the Chiefs' defense if they can capitalize. Now for some devastating news. Rookie tight end Jared W.Y. suffered a season-ending ACL tear in a non-contact drill. This comes on top of the earlier loss of Jody Forza. Mahomes spoke about how tough this is highlighting the commitment and toughness these guys bring. It's a huge blow to the offense, adding more pressure on an already thin group. So what does this mean for the game against Tampa Bay? The Buccaneers will likely focus on limiting Travis Kelce, opening up opportunities for others to make plays. This could be the perfect chance for some young Chiefs players to step up on the national stage. DeAndre Hopkins is primed for a breakout game and we'll see who else rises to the occasion. With the trade deadline looming on November 5th, reports suggest Veach might be looking to add a wide receiver and a cornerback. After acquiring DeAndre Hopkins, any further additions would be strategic. They need depth, especially with the recent season-ending injury to Jalen Watson. Will Veach make any moves before the deadline? This Monday night football game is going to be a battle of attrition. Both teams are banged up, and it all comes